guys, what's going on? It's Super Mature Boy and welcome back to the video. And a few days ago, Apple had held their Worldwide Developers Conference online and we got a lot of exciting announcements like iOS 14, iPadOS 14, WatchOS 7, TVOS 14 and say it with me, macOS Big Sur! But by far, the most exciting part of the entire keynote was Apple's shift from Intel chips to their own Apple Silicon for their Mac lineup. And in today's video, I'll be telling you guys everything you need to know about it and why I think this shift is just great for the iPad Pro lineup. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get right into it. Apple called the transition from Intel to their own ARM-based processors a historic moment for the Mac. And we kinda saw this transition coming as in the past two years, Apple has been making some really powerful chips like the A12X and the A12Z for their iPad Pro lineup that bring amazing performance to the iPad Pro lineup along with low power consumption. And it's obvious that Apple would want to bring that same killer performance with low power consumption to their Mac lineup. Now this move is similar to what they did in 2006 with the switch from PowerPC to Intel as at that time Intel was excelling in those two categories with your performance and low power consumption. Now during the keynote Apple used a demo ARM Mac to showcase their newest release of macOS which is macOS Big Sur and during the ARM transition section of the video they showed the specifications of that demo Mac. The most the exciting part of this Mac specifications was that it was powered by the A12Z processor. Of course they changed the RAM a little bit and they have some other hardware inside but the main thing here is that the processor inside this Mac was the A12Z Bionic. The same A12Z that is found in the 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPad Pro 2020. After that they started running actual desktop grade apps like full fledged Photoshop in which they were editing a 5GB photo in real time which had multiple layers. Apple also said that they were working closely with Microsoft and Adobe to optimize their applications for their new ARM chips so that when the first ARM Mac is released. All these applications from these two companies, which a lot of professionals use, will be ready to go flawlessly on day one of launch. But by far, the most impressive was their demo of Final Cut Pro in which they were playing back and editing three streams of full 4K ProRes video, which is just bonkers and just shows us how powerful Apple's ARM processors are. Now, how does this relate into the iPad Pro lineup? Well, as you saw, all of those Pro apps are running off the A12Z chip. So what this implies is, is that the iPad Pro 2020, which has the A12Z in it, and the iPad Pro 2018, which has the A12X in it, are fully capable of running desktop grade applications. You see, we have never seen the full potential of these two chipsets as the App Store really did not have demanding apps that could fully utilize the power of these chips. But after Apple's demo, it is safe to say that the iPad Pro lineup very soon will be getting pro grade apps that will fully be utilizing these chips. Now questions have been floating around that if Apple had their pro grade apps ready for ARM processors, why did they not announce them for the iPad lineup at WWDC? Now this is my theory but the reason I think Apple did not announce their first party pro apps for the iPad lineup and more specifically for the iPad Pros is due to the lack of RAM in their current iPads. You see the iPad Pro 2018 has 4GB of RAM whereas the iPad Pro 2020 has 6GB of RAM and in my opinion this isn't enough for running these desktop grade applications. If you remember from the keynote, Apple had 16GB of RAM in the demo Mac. So I think the next iPad Pro variants will be seeing a huge upgrade towards their RAM which will allow them to finally run apps like Final Cut Pro, Logic and full Photoshop. This theory of mine goes very well with John Prosser's tweet about how we will be getting these apps as soon as next year on the iPads. Now before we end the video, let's come back to the Mac for a while. Apple will be giving out custom ARM Mac Minis which are powered by the A12Z with 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD. Now keep in mind these ones will only be for developers, not for consumers. And if you are a developer, you will have to pay $500 for this developer kit. Apple has also said that they will be releasing their first ARM based Mac in the fall of this year. Now we don't know which Mac it's going to be, but I personally think this is going to be the rumored 14 inch MacBook Pro, which will be having a significant redesign. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we had reports from Ming-Chi Kuo, who said that Apple's first ARM based MacBook 
will be coming in the first quarter of 2021. So maybe they might be launching the MacBook a bit earlier because it's ready or they might be giving us an ARM version of another Mac product. But hey, that's just a theory, a tech theory. Well guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to comment down below what are your thoughts on the whole Intel to ARM transition. As the more you guys comment, the more engagement this video gets and the more YouTube promotes it. It won't even take a minute of yours, but it'll really help your boy out. If you guys like the video, then please do a big fat thumbs up on it. But if you loved it, then please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And as always, this is our boy Majora Boy signing off for today and I'll see you in the next one.